Birth certificates are federal banknotes. Dr. Paul Farms, PhD. Consulant Entrepreneur Investor Team Leader. Published November 21, 2016. Plus follow. By the truth denied. The American Banknote Building American Banknote Company is a subsidiary of American Banknote Corporation and products range from currencies and credit cards to passports, driver's licenses, and birth certificates. In the USA, citizens have never obtained their original birth certificates, what they possess is a copy. Furthermore, these copies have a serial number on them, issued on special bank bond paper and authorized by the American Banknote Company. More on this later. The original birth or naturalization record for every U.S. citizen is held with Washington, D.C. and the property and assets of every living U.S. citizen is pledged as collateral for the national debt. Every citizen is given a number, asterisk the red number on the birth certificate, and each live birth is reported to be valued at 650,000 to 750,000 Federal Reserve dollars in collateral from the Federation. Hence the saying we are owned by the system. Literally. Fact The government recognizes two distinct classes of citizens a state citizen and a federal citizen. Learn the difference now. There are hundreds of thousands of sovereigns in the United States of America, but I am not one of them. The sovereigns own their land in allodium. That is, the government does not have a financial interest in their land. Because of this they do not need to pay property tax, school tax, real estate tax. Only the powers granted to the federal government in the Constitution for the United States of America define the laws that they have to follow. This is a very small subset of the laws most of us have to follow. Unless they accept benefits from or contract with the federal government, they do not have to pay social security tax, federal income tax, or resident individual state income tax. They do not need to register their cars or get a driver's license unless they drive commercially. They will not have to get a health security card. They can own any kind of gun without a license or permit. They do not have to use the same court system that normal people do. Tilda. Asterisk see below for information re, state citizenship, how to become a. Unbeknownst to most people. The class termed U.S. citizen did not exist as a political status until 1866. It was a class and political status created for the newly freed slaves and did not apply to the people inhabiting the states of the Union who were at that time state citizens. Tilda Mr. Richard James, MacDonald, former law enforcement, California. Now do the math. If indeed 317 million U.S. citizens are worth an average of $700,000 in collateral for the U.S. debt, that would mean the U.S. is worth roughly $222 trillion. Your birth certificate is really a banknote, which means you, the citizen are what is known in the stock market as a commodity. Definition of Commodity 1. A basic good used in commerce that is interchangeable with other commodities of the same type. Commodities are most often used as inputs in the production of other goods or services. The quality of a given commodity may differ slightly, but it is essentially uniform across producers. When they are traded on an exchange, commodities must also meet specified minimum standards, also known as a basis grade. 2. Any good exchange during commerce which includes goods traded on a commodity exchange. So if you didn't catch it the first time, I will repeat myself at the risk of being redundant. Us citizens are owned by the United States Federal Reserve, a note in the stock exchange, being traded as a commodity. The note is printed by the American Banknote Company. Who are they? Background on American Banknote Company the following was printed to the editor by the New York Times. American Bank Note Company, New York, Saturday, December 2, 1865. New York Times. To the editor of New York Times. The attention of this company.
Company has been drawn to a paragraph from the Washington Star of the 30th Ultimate, giving an account of some examination made at the Treasury Department as to the evidence of the surreptitious impression of a genuine plate, used by the counterfeiter in printing the backs of the spurious $100 compound interest note. Having been taken after or before the plates and dies prepared by the American Bank Note Company were delivered by that company to the Treasury Department. This paragraph states this investigation shows that the counterfeits are made up from a plate surreptitiously obtained from this, the American Bank Note Company. This statement is supported by a supposed demonstration, which to those familiar with the business will need no refutation, and which would amuse the counterfeiter whoever he may be. And as no other reason, and no actual proof is pretended to support this imputation upon the security of plates and dies in the custody of the company, the paragraph might be left to every careful reader's own correction. I beg, however, the favor of stating, through your paper, that this company is ready to submit to, and give every aid to, any examination into the matter which the Treasury Department may desire, and that experts or plain men, upon the most thorough scrutiny, will have no doubt that the surreptitious impression was made from the genuine plate in the hands of the government, and after it was changed from the condition in which it was delivered by this company. Very respectfully, your obedient servant. Tilda G. O. W. Hatch, President American Banknote Company is a subsidiary of American Banknote Corporation and Abe Note Group, http colon double forward slash abnote.com. Today, following a variety of financial transformations, the American Banknote Corporation produces a wide variety of secure and official documents. With operations worldwide its products range from currencies and credit cards to passports, driver's licenses, and birth certificates. How does this work? Why didn't you learn this in school? According to many sources, including an excerpt from researcher Brian Kelly. When the United States declared bankruptcy, pledged all Americans as collateral against the national debt, and confiscated all gold, eliminating the means by which you could pay, it also assumed legal responsibility for providing a new way for you to pay, and it did that by providing what is known as the exemption, an exemption from having to pay for anything. In practical terms, though, this meant giving each American something to pay with, and that backslash something backslash is your credit. Your Value to society was then and still is calculated using actuarial tables and at birth, bonds equal to this backslash average value backslash are created. I understand that this is currently between one and two million dollars. These bonds are collateralized by your birth certificate which becomes a negotiable instrument. The bonds are hypothecated, traded until their value is unlimited for all intents and purposes, and all that credit created is technically and rightfully yours. In po point of fact, you should be able to go into any store in America and buy anything and everything in sight, telling the clerk to charge it to your exemption account, which is identified by a nine-digit number that you will recognize as your social security number without the dashes. It is your EIN, which stands for Exemption Identification Number. The Federal Reserve Bank is not owned and controlled by the U.S. government, rather it is owned and operated by international families. You are owned by foreigners bankers and your physical body is a collateral bond that has been issued on all your future earnings, your children's future earnings, etc. Were you taught this in school? Why not? If this is indeed the case, how do you change your current status? The fact is, thousands of citizens have already changed their slavery status by means of relinquishing the agreement and reverting to their sovereign status, inalienable rights, the status you were born with such as constitutional rights of life, liberty, and property which are not transferable and, thus, are termed inalienable. Questions to ask yourself. What type of person are you? What class of citizen are you? Can you change this status? The Uniform Commercial Code, UCC and the law of contracts make it difficult to conduct business in the USA. Now that you know your birth certificate, registration of birth, is nothing more than a contract with the government, what will you do to change this?
Did they tell you you were signing a contract? Did you know that you didn't even have to register the birth? How does one reclaim their state citizenship? Here is the starting point on how to restore your first class citizenship status. Here is a list of the papers, contracts, that a state citizen should file to be free of federal adhesion contracts. Some of these can be done at the county recorder's office, others must be sent to the District of Columbia. Asterisk remember, it took a lifetime for you to accumulate all of this, it may take a few months to undo it all, but well worth it. A notice of intent. A declaration of sovereignty. An oath to your state. A notice that you are using Federal Reserve notes under protest. A revocation of signature and power of attorney driver's license, you don't need one unless you drive commercially. Motor vehicle registration, if your car is not registered, it is not a motor vehicle. Marriage license, but not your marriage contract. Birth certificate, the hospital still has a record of birth. Application for a social security number. Union membership. Status as an employee, the word employee has a specific legal definition. Voter registration, you become an elector not a voter. Private or public pension benefits. You should also close credit cards, saving accounts, checking accounts, II accounts, money market accounts, CDs, mutual funds, and 401k. You should pay off all mortgages, car loans, and any other loan that you have. You may continue to receive postal matter with zip codes but you should not accept them. You should also remove your children from the schools that receive public money. Here are just some of the rights that you gain back as a sovereign citizen. The first thing a sovereign becomes is immune to law, i.e. statutory, civil and vehicle codes. You no longer are subject to those laws they just do not apply to you. You gain the ability to discharge anything in the legal arena of commerce using the laws of that system against the perpetrators that are currently using those laws against you for their gain. Becoming the sovereign citizen you were born to be, which is the master over the legal system rather than the servant you are now as a statutory citizen. Note the capitalization of the letter C, you were born a sovereign but it only lasted a few hours or maybe a day at the most before you were illegally brought into the system by contract known as a birth certificate. That certificate made you a servant to the world we know as the United States and the so-called American way. Discharging your debts by bonds. Never having to pay a traffic ticket again if you so choose. You cannot be sued in any court in this country. Legally eliminate paying income taxes both federal and state. Note, the system will fight you on this to keep control over you even though they know it is legal for you to leave the system. Get all the money you have ever paid into the system returned back to you with interest from the IRS. Again they will not willingly return your money. Stop paying any more into the IRS, you can legally stop the stealing at the source with your employer. If you would like to learn more about the benefits of sovereign rights or how to file, please visit http colon double forward slash discharge dash debt dot com forward slash id 73 dot htm. Disclosure, the truth denied, LLC is not responsible for any legal or otherwise counsel that you retain, not can be held accountable for any negative actions that may be taken against you due to attempting to pursue a legal channel to obtain your sovereign rights. Legal advice and choice of it thereof is your decision, we do not recommend specific legal counsel.